Seattle City Council wasted no time reacting to demands to defund the Seattle Police Department. Tonight, they started an inquest to figure out how or if they could cut SPD's budget in half. Council members say that money could be redirected to other city programs. Camera 7's Gary Horker breaks down the numbers, and Gary, cutting that much funding would mean a major cut of officers and staff. Absolutely. The city council studied a pie chart tonight. Now, if you cleave this pie in half, you could be talking roughly a thousand workers. If you cut half the officers, you're talking about fewer than 700 officers left in this city. Now, this process is going to take weeks, but today the city council wanted to break down how much is paid for everything from riot gear and blast balls to overtime. Demands to defund, demilitarize, and even dismantle Seattle police are quickly turning into action by the city council. Others are just demanding that we dismantle the police department altogether. As a socialist, I am absolutely fighting for society free of police. Council member Shama Sawant admitted dismantling SPD is not realistic, but she was interrupted while explaining her platform. And we need to fight hard. To win defund SPD by at least 50% to fund community programs, we need to win the tax Amazon. Can like, you please like, wrap up? It's been five minutes now uh, so that, that you've been speaking. Win housing and please. Jobs. This year, Seattle budgeted $409 million to SPD. Council members broke down a dizzying list of where all that money goes, and it turns out most of it, 82% of the SPD budget, or $306 million, goes to pay workers' salaries, benefits, and overtime for 2,000 workers. Only 3% of the budget goes to police equipment and to training. The council agreed the community would help decide how to reimagine what some called a Seattle safety department with fewer officers and more social workers. Defunding the police is not the answer. Jacqueline Helfgott is a criminology professor at Seattle University, and she says SPD has already made major reforms to improve and become more accountable to all the communities it serves. Taking money away from the police will actually put a halt to many of the initiatives that have been moving forward to, 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 to create a better system, to reduce the uh, discrimination and disparities in the, the criminal justice system. Now, one of the major budget items the city council looked at was the high cost of recruiting, training, and hiring and putting officers on the street. And to date, up until April, they were told SPD hired 40 new officers, but sadly, 17 of them have quit, and now they're in a hiring freeze. We're live tonight in Seattle. I'm Gary Horker, Cairo 7 News.